Cool. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you and his mercy and his blessing. Um, I'd like to say thank you to Allah and maybe um, give my stuff what I know, my presence, my style, and also for the, the workshop that I did on the 27th and 28th of July. It was really a good day for everybody. We had a good time. Um, I'm thanking the people for coming to the workshop um, and participating in the workshop. The good character, good conduct, everything, and learning. And we had all had a good time. I put together some clips from the workshop because it was a long day. Consists of um, eight hours of pure wind um, fighting, studying everything, analyzing everything. But I put together for about an hour for YouTube, on my YouTube site, so you can see it and have a look, see how it went. And you can mm -hmm. benefit from it. Sometimes the people who want to attend the workshop can attend it, because of some other reasons. But I'll put a little bit on the, YouTube, on the clip on YouTube, so you can see it, and maybe you can benefit from it, and come to the next workshop, what I do in the future. Um, I'll have a workshop coming in the future, um, in um, Greece. In October, I think the date is 11th and 12th, or the 12th and 13th, but you can go on my website and see all the information about that. And I'll be doing another workshop in the future for people to benefit and try and learn from me as much as possible. So, thank you again, everybody, for coming to the workshop, and thank you guys for watching my YouTube site and giving me feedback. Thank you, thank you very much. Bye. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Glad you can make this uh, Wing Chun workshop today. Uh, my name is Sibyl Lewison. Um, I'll tell you a bit about myself first. I've been studying Winchester for over 30 years. I had numerous teachers in the past. Um, some of you know through the, my website, Eddie Yo, Sibyl Eddie Yo, um, Peter Khan, Sibyl um, Ng Chung Hong, Nina Bernardo, Sibyl Nina Bernardo. But the way I do Wing Chun is the way I do Wing Chun. So for all the teachers I have learned in the past, I took their experience and put into how I do Wing Chun. And because my background is from an Islamic point of view, my methods and teaching is from an Islamic point of view also. So something you find a bit different, not the, the art form, it's how I teach, okay? Most important thing when I teach anybody is to make sure you understand it, you can apply it. These are the two main things. And also you enjoy, very, very important. When you enjoy something, you do, I, I find you get more out of it. But the most important thing, the understanding of the concept of the Wing Chun. So today, we'll go through uh, certain drills, techniques, Chi Sao, in the next two days, of different techniques. And don't worry, if you it's going to find new to, new to you, doesn't matter, I, would, I can break things down in seg segment, so you can also learn it at the same time. Most important thing to, to, today is for you to enjoy and gather the information that I'm going to teach you guys. And sometimes you guys come from a uh, different background Wing Chun, it doesn't matter. What we're going to look at to see what works and what don't work. And try to better, better, better ourselves in what we're practicing. That's the, that's the key of practicing today in this workshop. Yeah? So um, I'm not, I don't get in politics, say what is, which is best. You decide for yourself by going, you researching, going to see teachers, and you decide for yourself. I don't say what teachers are the best, what teachers are worse. <laughs> so I don't get myself in politics at all. I just do by. What I do is what I do, and you can see for yourself, and you can see if it work or don't work. That's, uh, that's very, very important. Um, so today, I will go through concepts. First of all, Wing Chun, and see, this is a diagram called PATH. My Wing Chun consists of this diagram, a lot of points in this diagram, you will see later on today. So Wing Chun consists of geometry. And sometimes someone said, is a person bigger than me, how am I going to overcome him? Easy, by techniques. But not this techniques, by courage. Because you might have techniques and you might be scared. And therefore, you won't be able to do the techniques at all. So you have to have some courage, you know. But you might have too much courage and no technique. <laughs> yeah? So that means that you go without thinking and you still get hurt. So wing chun, my wing chun is balance. You've got to have um, balance in, the, in, in body and in mind. Yeah? So it's very important. Now the CM Tower is all done differently. Champions all done differently. Puji's done typically, even dummies done typically from different people. We don't worry what order you do it in. What we're trying to find out what works and what doesn't work, and can you use it in any given situation. So we don't, like I said, I don't go into politics. Some, some people will do a CM Tao, the form, they do it from here and here. Some people do it from here. 
Some people do it from here and here. Some people do it from here and here. Which is right. No one knows. Until you put into action. You know? So I will show you the way I do sit and tell and why I do it the way I do it. And you can decide for yourself which is better. You prefer your way or my way. It's up to you. The most important thing is knowledge. Knowledge of Wing Chun. Without the knowledge and the right knowledge, you can't improve. So, okay, how much? One year, two years, ten years? It's that knowledge of the art form. So, I will start off first. Let's show you the form quickly, okay? How I do my form, okay? Now, it's called CM Tao. That's the first form, the beginning. It's like an alphabet, but can you use this alphabet in the fighting situation? This is the question. This is very, very hard to do. So many people can form, perform any style, any martial arts, any style, any sort of Wing Chun, Karate, any sort of style you do, you can perform it by yourself. But can you perform it with someone attacking you? That's the next point. It's very, very, very hard. So when you see, um, sometimes you see a lot of people do a lot of forms. Example, the form consists of Say we've got so the CM tail consists of 200 movements. Then you fight someone and you use one. One to the rest. You see. You might need one, but say he counts you, the one you know. Then you've got to use two. Then he counts you the, third, the second one, then three, then four, and so forth. This is why it's an alphabet of techniques. And this is really hard to use. Now, Wing Chun, you see my CM tail was stationary. So if people learn Wing Chun, first of all, the, the same the CM tail form. Obviously, you can't fight because you're not moving. No one, when the real fight situation, no one stands still for you. Nobody. Everybody will move. Even someone that knows nothing will move. Only person stands still when he freezes. He doesn't know what to do. Then you can hit him. But real life situation, most people will move. So this CM tail form teaches you to stay stationary first. It's a different concept. That means if you're in the corner and you're stationary here, you can still do movements because you're stationary, you see it in town. But you're moving now, you go back to Chamkyu, or Dummy, or Puji. It all changes, depends on the circumstances. So the first of all, we're going to learn a, a, a form. It's, we call four angle punching. It's a footwork. Without footwork, personally, you can't do Wing Chun. Yeah? Because like I said, you have to move. If someone's bigger than you, and you don't know how to move, what will happen? What will happen if you don't move? He run you over. He don't care how small, how big, he run you over. So therefore, you have to learn how to move. So we've got a form that we practice. Yeah? We can go through techniques really quickly, so you, can, so you can feel what it's like, you can see what it's like, and also you can understand it. And then we can go through techniques, straight away, do techniques, techniques, techniques. Yeah? I find that very important to learn. The more techniques you learn, the more relaxed you are. That means you can look after yourself. If you've got two good techniques, three good techniques, and the person stops your three techniques, you're stuck. That's why we call it the alphabet. Alphabet doesn't consist of three letters. So the more words you know, the more techniques you know, the better you are and more relaxed you become when you're sparring. Okay? So this is a form you guys know learn. We call four angle punching. This is the four angle punching. Four directions. One, two, three, four. Okay? Now if I don't see them tell you never see it at all. All you see is the straight line. And you see my stance from here, the triangle. So you see a straight line here. That's what you see in CM Tau, a straight line. So most of the time, when people learn CM Tau, they just learn straight. But we're going to learn other angles. So I will show you first, and we're going to get up and try, try this, um, this form. OK, so watch me first. Form, but you find yourself, it looks easy. <laughs> when you do it, 
Because the reason why it's complicated because you're going in four directions. Your mind is only used to going straight. This is the basic line in being sure everyone does. Straight. But like I said, you go straight and someone bigger than you, you can get run over. So therefore you have to learn angles. Okay? So don't worry, my guys over here, they'll help you. Okay? So you have stuck. Don't worry. Don't feel embarrassed that you can't do it. The idea is to learn and improve. So don't feel ashamed, think, I'm having trouble, I should be doing it. No. It's not about should be doing it, it's can you do it. And you can't do it, you learn how to do it. So it's quite simple. Yeah? Okay, let's get up, we're going to do this practice technique. Okay, so. Uh, you guys spread out, my guys spread out in the, in the uh, beginning, middle, the sides, so they all can see you. Alright, so. I'll be from here. Okay. Make sure you've got make sure you've got room. Okay. Yeah? I think we can put the uh, the guys that haven't done it in the middle. Yeah, the guys when they turn. Yeah. They'll see someone. That's true. The guys in the, in the middle haven't learned before? Let's come in the middle in the middle. So you can see the guys next to you, or Fiona knows it, so you can see there. Okay. So, ready? Open. Okay, turn. Punch across. Now, um, I'm going to show you how to... There's another footwork you've got to learn. Before we do any technique, you can learn t t footwork. Yeah? And then we can have fun. The reason why... Um, this is Patrick. Uh, yeah? The reason why... This is the footwork we've done first, but we're gonna, I'm going to show you an example. If I punch Patrick here, and he goes to meet me, that's the first one, mm -hmm. and I'm struggling, I'm punching straight, he will move. Then he hit me here. Done. Finished. Mm -hmm. So when I go here, done. Now you see. Now, this situation we practice is gorso. We call gorso. Gorso consists of crossing hands. Sticky is not sticky. This is gorso. There are three concepts I learned. Gorso, sticky gorso, and sticky. Okay, in the real life situation, um, sometimes it'd be mostly gorsal because someone's going to throw a punch towards you any angle. But for us, Wing Chun punches is straight. So when I punch him straight, he meet, then he turns and go forward. Yeah. Now that was only three points. Where's the fourth point? The guy said the four angle punching. Where's the fourth one? Now, if you don't know the footwork, work carefully. Don't know the footwork. Don't move. Mm -hmm. Punch me, what will happen? Now you see. Yeah? Yeah. Don't care how small, how big he is, I run him over. Now you see. So, how you can count on me? How you can count on me? He's got to learn footwork. All right. But he hasn't learned footwork for six months. So I'll always beat him up. Yeah? Yeah? And then later on, the teacher said, learn footwork. And then, you, and then I can't beat him up now. So when you learn footwork, he moves, I move. They move again, they move. Mm -hmm. Now we both know footwork. Now it's fair now, we're equal. Right. <laughs> yeah? This is fair now. Both person know something. You play with someone who don't know nothing, also you look really good. Yeah? Doesn't mean you're good. But you're playing with someone who knows nothing. So it appears you're looking good. Play with someone who knows something, and then you see your own reflection. Do you know something or not? <laughs> right, you see? So we don't play with no one who don't know nothing, it's not fair. We play with someone who knows something, so it's more interesting, huh? more exciting, more counterproductive, mm -hmm. more look at techniques. That means if I punch him here, he knows something, he comes towards me, what's KB? He move again? You see. Yeah? He move again? Now, if he doesn't move, that hits him easy, don't move. Easy, move the piece. No one ever in my situation. <laughs> move, move. No, you see. No, you see. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, in a real life situation, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to stand there for you. Yeah? So you're going to move. So we learn, oh, this guy on the street, he's going to rush you and move you. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, am I using arms? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he punched me, I can use legs. Mm -hmm. Am I going by stage by stage? Mm -hmm. You can't see 30 years of my Wing Chun in one hour. You see a, a small percentage. Mm -hmm. Okay? So what I'm trying to do is for two days, they give you some information on how I do Wing Chun. And therefore you can take it and use it to your own advantage when you practice it. But the four angle punching is from this way here. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to do one more footwork and then we'll go straight into techniques. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now. But, but if Patrick comes towards me, 
I'm here, and he throw a punch towards me. Then you see my stance. We go my stance. He punch, then you see. Punch again, please. Go again. Now you see. Now again, now you see from here. There, you see him here, here. Now you see. And again, now you see. There. Now, now, what I can do one arm. Many years I practice see them tell one arm. Then the other arm, one arm. Then put together. So if I can do it with one arm, imagine I put the other arm out now. It's worse. Mm-hmm. Yeah? And the idea when he punched me, you will see it, folks, out. That's how. Kun's out. Pan's out. Bong's out. Fuck's out. Yun's out. Many movements. But the other arm is still here. Here it is here. And I see him tell. <laughs> I'm always doing my one arm. Then the other arm, same thing. So right you knowing, you're doing techniques right you knowing. You just you don't know about it. You're doing, you're doing something and think, yeah, one side, the other side. No, no, no. You're always doing technique. We, go, we don't waste nothing. Yes? So I get it from my, my, one of my, um, my Sibak, we call Uncle. His name is Sibak Chung Hong. He don't let nothing go. So a lot of my inspiration comes from this guy because he don't let nothing go at all. Every little detail, he will use. Yeah? But like I said, the way I do Wing Chun, it's the way I do Wing Chun. <laughs> yeah? Everyone does Wing Chun differently. Everyone has their own flavor, how they want to do something. Mm-hmm. But very important, like I said, now we're going to do stepping mm-hmm. by moving from here. One, two, three. Now, using your feet and hands, punch at the same time. Sometime. Where are you from, my friend? Hi, I'm uh, Andy. Um, just come to the workshop. It's been a great experience. Um, learned a lot of techniques. Um, learned a lot of um, things that don't work and things that do work. Um, it's, it's been um, a real eye opener and a great uh, experience to be trained by Michael. Okay, that's nice. Thanks. That's nice. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, just your face, Rob. Uh, wh- okay, Rob. Uh, what, where, do you, where have you come from to come to the seminar? I come from Islington. North yeah. London. So what do you think about what do you think about this um, seminar today? Yeah, it's very, very, very interesting. Yeah. Good, good experience. The uh, techniques, all the little intricacies of the techniques, mm. that make the big difference in how you can perform. Yeah. And also makes you think about not going to the gym and lifting weights and getting stronger. That's good. That's good. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Where, where are you from, man? Uh, uh, David from Barcelona. Uh, I run a school over in, uh, in Spain and uh, I've been training with Mikey for a few years whenever I can come over. And the workshop, yeah, and, uh, what do you think of this workshop today? Fantastic, yeah. yeah. Lots of uh, really useful information in there. Yeah. A lot of stuff that I need to take home and decipher, try and get my head around it. Uh, I hope I, you know, hope I can use the information and uh, well, we hope to you can take my ability. We hope you can take it back and yeah, it's fantastic. deal, deal Thank with some people. Michael. Thank you. All right. Good. Where are, you, where are you from? I'm from uh, Ashford. Yeah. yeah. What do you think of the seminar today? Uh, it's really good. I uh, it improved on my training. Yeah. 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 Any eye openers? Yeah, lots, lots. Yeah. Uh, maybe say things a little bit next time. Okay. That's excellent. Thank you. All right. You can ask What's your name? My name is Peter. Nice to meet you. Uh, where are you from? Uh, I live in Beckton. Okay. And, uh, my friend told me about this workshop, so I come along and check it out. Yeah. What do you think about the workshop? Then. Sorry? What do you think about the workshop? Workshop is very good, very yeah. good, very high standard. Yeah. Uh, any, any enlightenment? Sorry? Have you been enlightened a bit? Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Definitely. I'll get a chance, I'll come back again. Okay, lovely. Cheers. Yeah, we have a dynamic duo. Where are you guys from? Yeah. Uh, what do you guys think of the seminar? Awesome. Okay. You guys learned anything? Uh, when are you gonna do the next one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. we don't know yet. We have to Let keep you guys know. waiting a little bit. Let's know when the next one's coming down. And yeah. Uh, bring more guys down. Ah. Yeah, we'll be there. All right. Enjoy. Okay. Cool.